getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. It's not God picks certain people he'll make rich and certain people he don't. He gives all of us the power of choice. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. I'm no better than none of y'all. I'm not a better person than you. I'm not a better Christian than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. What makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is, though, it's very doable. But you got to change, though. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. This decision is yours and yours alone. It's two people born in a hospital every day. It's a person that's born in a hospital that's going to get a job and somebody born in a hospital that's going to give them a job. You get to decide which one you're going to be. You get to decide. Let me tell you something. You get to decide if I'm going to be rich, poor, mediocre, plentiful, happy, sad, you, you have a decision to make. You have to live your life with the expectation that great things are coming your way. A man is as he thinketh. God thought of this world. He thought of it. So he created that your thoughts can create things. Now you can't go make earth and heaven like he did, but you can make a better world for yourself. When you ask God for something, he sends it, he ships it immediately. As soon as you ask him something, you really believe he'll do it? He boxes it up and he ships it to you immediately. The problem with the package is he never gives you the date that the package is going to arrive. The problem is, people stop waiting on the package. Then when it get to you, because he delivers only to Faith Street, when he delivers to you on Faith Street, but you done stepped off of Faith Street, you over here on I Don't See How Circle, he don't ship that. Instead of staying on Faith Street, you done stepped over here to I Don't Believe It Boulevard or It Took Too Long Avenue. Then the package come to Faith Street is just like the post office in FedEx. If you ain't there to receive it, it got to go back. That's how it works, man. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody, especially the devil. Do not let Satan come in here and function and operate because he has one mission to keep you off course, to make you not think it's possible, to make you think that God don't hear you. His job is only to destroy you, to make sure that you don't become what God intended for you to become. That's the mission of the devil.